lovers, it is G-Swiss here and I'm here today to show you my reread TBR of 2018. So I've done my series TBR of 2018 and in 2018 there are going to be some book to movie adaptations or even some continuations to book series. So I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make a video about what books I'm planning to reread this year. So I guess that's all self-explanatory so I'm just gonna get started with all the books that I'm planning to reread. First reread of 2018 has already been reread and that is Valentine by Joni McAllister. And guys, I loved it just as much as I loved it the first time. I am planning to reread this a third time before the final book in this trilogy comes out because it's worth rereading. I'm gonna quickly go on to some books that are going to have book to movie adaptations this year. So first of all, Ready Player One. I haven't read this book since 2015 when I first read it and I really do want to dive back into this world. I'm kind of skeptical though because I kind of don't want to reread it because I don't want to be disappointed in the book to movie adaptation but at the same time I've had the urge to reread it for such a long time. However, I don't want to reread this before I read Armada because apparently Armada isn't better than Ready Player One and I still want to read Armada. So yeah, I plan to reread this and I plan to read Armada. Next we have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I love this book so much guys. This is one of my favorite books ever. It made it to my top books of 2017. The book to movie adaptation will be coming out this year and so I definitely want to reread this before the book to movie adaptation because why not? Even if the book to movie adaptation wasn't gonna come out this year I'd totally reread it anyway. And as far as I know the last book to movie adaptation book that I really do want to reread this year is The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. If you guys aren't aware the person that's gonna be playing the main protagonists are the same person. Amanda Steinberg is gonna be playing both the protagonists and guys I'm nothing but hyped. I really did love this trilogy. This first book wasn't actually my favorite. This one's actually my least favorite book in the trilogy. So I'm gonna reread it and see how I feel about it now, but I'm really excited for the book to movie adaptation, so I will be able to push through it like that. And guys, this book is actually very heavy for a paperback. It's metallic. It makes me feel like I'm carrying a hunk of metal. And the next books I'm gonna show you are the books that I'm planning to read in the lead up to the next book in the series. So first of all, we have Gemini by Amy Hoffman and Jay Kristoff. I've already reread Illuminae, so I don't know whether I should reread Illuminae again. Like, I full-on remember Illuminae. And in my personal opinion, Illuminae was very hard to get into, like that's just me personally. And so I reread it. I did enjoy Illuminae, but I do prefer Gemini. And I think that there are a lot of things that I've forgotten about Gemini. And so I need to reread this in order to refresh my mind. I'm definitely refreshed when it comes to Illuminae, just not Gemini. So this one's gonna be reread. Next book that's a possible contender is Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. And I say possible contender because I don't know whether I'm gonna read Legendary straight away, but I think I do want to reread Caravelle because I've forgotten a significant amount of the story. And I really do want to refresh my mind, so I think I'm gonna reread this one. The next book that I'm planning to reread this year will be King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. And this is the third book in the Red Queen series. I reread Red Queen and Last Sword last year. And because of that, I do remember them a whole lot more clearly than I did before. Whereas King's King's Cage I think needs a reread because I really did love it at the time. I just kind of need to refresh my mind about this one. I'm still bitter at the fact that they didn't title this book That's So Maven. Doria, if you're watching this, please write That's So Maven. Just a book about Maven, please. The next book I'm planning to reread this year in the lead up to the next book in the series will be The Dark Prophecy, which is the third book in the Trials of Apollo series by Rick Riordan. Now, if you were following me last year, you'd know that I reread Hidden Oracle. Yes, that's the first book. I once got the titles mixed up and people were judging me like crazy, so I don't want to mix them up. I remember that book so clearly. I love the first book in the series. The second book, I didn't really like as much, and now I've forgotten almost everything about it, and so I've got to reread this before going into the third book in the trilogy. So that's gonna happen this year. The next book that I'm planning to reread this year will be Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Now this does depend on whether the sequel is going to be out this year. If it's not gonna be out this year, then I'll probably reread it next year, who knows. However, I need the sequel to be out this year. Actually, I could say the same about Stranger Dreamer. I don't even know whether Stranger Dreamer sequel is gonna be out this year. If it is, it's included in this TBR. But if it's not, then I won't include it in this TBR. Actually, no, I just wanna reread that book all the time. But I have a feeling that the sequel will be published this year. That's why I'm planning to pick it up and reread it this year. I mean, I remember it clearly at the moment, but I don't think I'm gonna remember it clearly by the time that the sequel is going to come out. So this one I'm gonna reread. Final book series that I'm planning to reread. This is probably gonna be the only giant book series that I'm going to reread this year that I am determined to get for this year. I've been planning this reread for years, ever since Queen of Shadows came out. And that is all the Fred of Glass books. From March onwards, I'm going to reread a book a month. It was originally planned to be February, but then they pushed the last book to the day after my birthday. Guys, the last book of the Front of Glass series is coming out the day 
after my birthday, the whole stack of books just fell. I'm very nervous about the series ending, but I want to refresh my mind on all of these books. I've only ever reread these two books and that book, but I've never reread Throne of Glass or Crown of Midnight. I didn't like Throne of Glass at first. I didn't want to waste my time on Throne of Glass at first because I didn't like the first book. But you know what? I'm going to see how I feel about it now, and I'm planning to reread all of these books. So that is going to be it for this video today, book lovers. You can follow me on my social medias. I'm at Books on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash I love you book lovers and I will see you later.